So the Nintendo Switch 6.0.0 update has been data mined. And you might be thinking, how is that possible? You just talked about how hackers figured out that it was even coming. Well, it turns out that Nintendo has already loaded the 6.0.0 update onto their servers. And hackers have naturally downloaded it off of their servers, gotten it to run on their hack switches, and thus have begun to data mine the update to see what new features might be coming to Switch or will be coming to Switch with this update. And yes, folks, it, this update is the one that is required for the Nintendo Switch online service. This is not a big surprise. It's what everyone thought this update was going to be. And as that being such an important update, you would figure that there is a lot of important stuff in this update. And, well, you're going to be a little disappointed. No, this isn't just a system stability update or something dumb like that. Uh, even though those updates are very important. This uh, includes the Nintendo Switch online subscription support, uh, which does apparently have a slogan for some reason. Uh, and the slogan for this Nintendo Switch online service is more games, more features, more fun. Um, but the only feature really discovered is just the cloud backup data which you're seeing a screenshot of like you have an ability not to back up your games to the cloud that um that's a feature we already knew was coming we still don't know fully how it works it's not active right now but it is in the update no big surprise there obviously more games we're talking to those nes games uh what was interesting is they did uncover um some new controller icons uh you know when you go to uh you set your controllers and you see little icons for representing a joy con or a pro controller or a wired usb controller well now there are icons for uh different nes controllers the old, old school Famicom controller from Japan. Uh, and there is what appears to be like a Super Nintendo controller. Potentially, it's more of a classic controller because a Super Nintendo controller isn't shaped exactly like that. That's more, I don't know, like it, it feels a lot more like the classic, the, like the, you know, Nintendo, the classic Pro controller or whatever um, from the Wii and Wii U days. Uh, maybe even like an 8 bit Doe style controller is actually what it looks more like to me. But it could be a SNES controller, whatever, whatever the case may be. They're obviously adding support for a controller like that. And obviously, uh, some NES style controllers are probably going to release that are Bluetooth. And uh, I think that's some uh, a really neat thing, especially for those classic games. Uh, we can look at whether or not that's a SNES controller or um, the classic controller support, or whether or not it's it's an 8 bit Doe or whatever it is. Um, it, it could potentially hint that, that Super Nintendo games are coming. There is nothing in the code base so far that data miners have uncovered that seems to suggest that there is going to be anything else like that. Um, but that's basically it. The only other thing this update has, at least on the surface, are some new icons uh, for your profile. Uh, there are uh, two of Captain Toad, two of Toadette, one of Wingo, and one of Dragodon. Um, all of these characters are from Captain Go Toad. You know, treasure tracker. So yeah, obviously, you know, adding more icons for games that are already out are great. Um, it would have been nice to see some Octopath Traveler icons, if I'm being honest. But uh, you know, the icons don't really matter that much to me. I've got mine. I'm I'm perfectly happy with the icon I'm using right now. Um, everything else that seems to be there is just uh, stuff to deter hackers from the current ways they are accessing the system. Um, you know, there's mitigations now included in this update uh, against the deja vu method, uh, which is an unreleased switch exploit. There's also um, enhanced telemetry to detect exploit utilities, among other things. Uh, there really isn't uh, much else other than that beyond, you know, evidence and proof that, yes, this actually exists. People have actually downloaded it. This is from Nintendo, blah, 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 blah. And this seems to be what developers have been working with now for a little bit in preparation for this supposed massive update, which essentially just turns the on switch on and the time to switch online subscription and adds in the save backups. Now, uh, they have not found anything else in this update. There's nothing else. There's no themes. There's no folders. There's no custom organization. Uh, you're not going to see things, you know, like if they're adding Netflix support, that's going to be through the eShop. That's not something you would even really see in an OS update. That's an application. Uh, there's no messaging. Uh, there's no local backups. Uh, pretty much anything you could ever want Nintendo to actually do with a paid subscription service is not here. Uh, it's just what they told us. And this could be why we haven't really heard anything. Now, we've talked about several times, um, maybe even some would argue complaining, 
that we don't know enough about the Nintendo Switch Online service. And it could just be that there really isn't anything to talk about. The only thing arguably to talk about and show off are just how the NES games work, right? Like like how does swap play work? You know, let's get a video showing that off. Let's get a video showing off multiplayer and online leaderboards. But that might be it. And they might not think that's enough to really, you know, have a direct about. It to the to me this sounds like or at least what it appears like on the surface. And again, this doesn't include any updates to the Nintendo Switch Online app on your phone, which could have messaging, which could have lobbies, and could have, heck, maybe achievements or whatever. Like, all of that could be handled through the Nintendo Switch Online app if they wanted to. I think it's a stupid move. I think there's a lot of people that just don't even want to load up that app when they're playing online. But whatever, it's there, and maybe Nintendo's going to push that. But at least on the Switch itself, it appears that you're just getting exactly what Nintendo said you're going to get. And nothing more and nothing special. You get cloud save backups and you get to play games online like you're already doing right now, but it's behind a paywall. There's nothing extra. Um, and you get these NES games with extra controller support. So if you're wondering why we uh, aren't hearing anything else about the Nintendo Switch Online service, there isn't anything else to hear about. It's kind of disappointing, to be honest. Now, I, I have to note this is data mining. Uh, it's potential that there is another uh, update to the 6.0 update that's not on Nintendo servers yet. Uh, after all, this update is not fully public yet and is subject to change. Uh, it's possible that um, you know that nothing that, that there's something someone's missing in the data mining. You know, it's been up for 13 plus hours at this point. There's a whole thread on Reddit about it. It doesn't appear that anything else has really been discovered. Of, of use to anyone in terms of information. There's obviously, you know, new 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 security measures that they're finding all the time to, to try to, to deal with hackers, but they're not really finding uh, anything at all. Um, it, it's it's a, What it sounds like is if you were looking forward to paying to access uh, playing online games, then I guess uh, you can look forward to having the exact same service you already currently have for free. It's a little disappointing, if I'm being completely honest, I want more. I expect more. I uh, we're approaching, you know, g- getting close to you know year and a half. You know, thinking about the two year mark on this platform coming up. Still can't organize our games. I don't really care about the custom theming, but organizing games to me is a huge one that just needs to be on the system. It's fine if they don't believe in achievements and they don't really want to do anything beyond my Nintendo. But how about some my Nintendo integration? I don't. There's a zillion things I could think of that would be really nice to include on in a major update like this for the online service. Instead, folks. We're paying twenty bucks a year, to or, or thirty five with friends, well, about per year, uh, for access to games we can already play online for free with no additional extra services or guaranteed dedicated servers. I think some people were looking forward to that. Hey, maybe we get dedicated servers. No, everything is still peer to peer, and we're paying for access to our own internet to do peer to peer multiplayer games. Not good. Um, they're you're getting those NES games and cloud backups. Bingo, bango, bongo. It's weird that they even have, like, that they're calling them to the Switch online service. More games, more features, more fun. The only new feature, the only new feature is the cloud save backups. They're not adding anything else. You know, more fun. You're not having more fun by putting a paywall between someone who buys Splatoon 2 and someone who, who bought Splatoon 2. Now you have a paywall in between them playing against each other. That's not more fun. More games, I, I'll give that to them. Fine slogan. I, it's just, it feels incomplete, if nothing else. I hope this isn't everything. I am not impressed with this at all. I'm not going to throw a lot of shade at Nintendo just yet because, again, this isn't fully public. It's not technically out there for people to download besides you know people who have hacked into the servers. So, again, you take this all with a grain of salt in terms of what features may be added or, or, or aren't being added. But uh, this doesn't look good at all and i gotta say yeah nintendo's only charging 20 bucks i'm not so sure the service is really worth 20 bucks but you know me i'm gonna end up having it so i can have those cloud backups and so i can play games online with you guys because nintendo's now putting a paywall between my data and you know being able to back up my data and being able to play with you guys even though they're not providing any um, networking or any server side stuff to make my gameplay better. I'm Nathaniel Rovagents from Nintendo Prime. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. 
As always, folks, you can show a little love our way if you would like at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime for as little as $1 per month. You can throw a little love our way and help support what we do. Otherwise, folks, I'm just going to catch you in the next one.